everyone is excited about the dawn of the next generation of gaming consoles, and the bulk of that hype has been focused squarely on the Sony PlayStation 5 and Microsoft's Xbox Series S and X, and with good reason. Nintendo has decided to take a different approach, supporting their existing system in new ways rather than synchronizing the release of their next machine with their competitors. So what does Nintendo have in store for Switch owners, and what's the future for Switch once we pass that next-gen milestone? First, a little history. The Nintendo Switch launched in March of 2017 and is the fastest selling video game system of this generation. Even now, three years after its launch and with Zelda, Smash Brothers, and Super Mario titles under its belt, it continues to be a huge success with landmark games still dropping. Case in point, the recent Animal Crossing New Horizons, the second best selling game of 2020 according to NPD, which sold over 22 million units as of this reporting and helped propel the company to a 500% year over year net profit increase. However, even with these major wins for Nintendo, there's still a lot to be said about the history and current state of the Switch. Let's take it all the way back to the Switch's predecessor, the Wii U. The previous console didn't have a great selection of games upon launch and had poor third-party support throughout its life cycle. The Switch, however, seemed to rectify these issues by establishing itself as an indie powerhouse, led in large part by an initiative within Nintendo and establishing a deeper third-party roster. Furthermore, heavy hitter EA announced they would be releasing 14 more games to the Switch this coming year. Even though EA hasn't supported Nintendo strongly in the past, the Switch has seen a growing player base and they seem to have fully jumped on the bandwagon. EA games coming to the Switch include FIFA, Madden, and Burnout Paradise. Indie games weren't the only things pushing boundaries on the Switch. Many fans were pleasantly surprised by the number of AAA ports like Dark Souls Remastered, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Doom, Diablo 3, Bioshock The Collection, Borderlands, and XCOM 2. For most, having these AAA games as handheld options more than offset the graphics downgrades required by the Switch's hardware. An updated model of the Switch was released in August of 2019, promising better battery life than the original launch version, a constant issue for the handheld market. The new Nintendo Switch model boasted a battery life of 4.5 to 9 hours, versus the original Switch model's 2.5 to 6 hours. The Switch Lite debuted in September 2019 at a price point of $100 cheaper than the standard Switch. The discount did come at the cost of removing the actual functionality of the Switch being able to switch between handheld and docked mode, but offered another option for people wanting access to the Switch library at a lower price point. Nintendo also continued to explore unique interactions and inputs with the Switch through games like Ring Fit Adventure and the cardboard craft game Nintendo Labo, the Pokeball Plus peripheral, and a physical steering wheel for Mario Kart and other racing titles. Unfortunately, despite the Switch's amazing library and unique approach, the Switch still has some issues that must be taken into account. They suffered a large data breach of user accounts in 2020, and their eStore has caught plenty of criticism for its less than functional design. Nintendo has responded by making some customer-friendly improvements to their pre-order policy and sales messaging, but the digital storefront still leaves something to be desired. But the most troubling issue plaguing the Switch is certainly Joy-Con Drift. Drift was a problem that came up not too long after launch, and it's still one that Nintendo hasn't been able to fully address. The Drift makes playing games extremely difficult as it detects a motion that isn't being input on the Joy-Con paddle. The one solution Nintendo has offered so far is to send in the defective Joy-Con to the repair center. While the service is free, it can often take weeks and leave players without a replacement in the interim. Switch Lite users are essentially without their console for the duration of any repairs. Nintendo still hasn't worked out a definitive solution for Joy-Con Drift, nor have they announced any plans to, even in the face of a class action lawsuit that was brought against them around the issue. One bright spot is that Nintendo recently allowed for full custom remapping of the Joy-Con controllers, although that of course doesn't alleviate stick drift itself. But the best news for Nintendo fans is that the Switch is apparently, quote, 
barely in the middle of its life cycle. In January, Nintendo said, We believe it is important to continue to communicate the appeal of both Nintendo Switch systems and expand the installed base. So that means there are plenty more updates to come on the Switch in the next few years. One of the most highly anticipated is the follow-up to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which was announced at Nintendo's E3 2019 showcase and will be preceded by Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, a hack-and-slash prequel to the Breath of the Wild series. At the Game Awards in 2019, Nintendo also announced that No More Heroes 3 would be coming to the Switch sometime in 2020. Not to mention Pikmin 3 Deluxe, the recent Paper Mario follow-up The Origami King, and Super Mario 3D All-Stars, a collection of three of Mario's most beloved games, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy, assembled into one Switch-friendly package. On the third-party front, Nintendo is soon to add Apex Legends to the Switch roster. As an unintended consequence of the COVID-19 pandemic and shelter-in-place orders throughout the world, the popularity of the Switch was further escalated by people isolating at home. They bought out the Switch and Switch games in such high numbers that at one point, Ring Fit Adventure wasn't available anywhere and the Switch itself was sold out at many locations. As for the future of Switch order fulfillment, a Nintendo spokesperson has told Bloomberg News that, quote, we do not see any major impact on the shipment to the U.S. currently, but we will remain vigilant and take steps if necessary. Nintendo has called on suppliers to address shortages and even called out some suppliers for manufacturing artificial scarcity in order to drive up prices. Can you blame them? Yes, profiteering during a pandemic is despicable. But it is a testament to the sustained interest in the Switch, a system we expect to see a whole lot more from before all is said and done. Looking to the future, Nintendo has reportedly begun asking developers to make 4K-ready games, which could imply that a new higher-resolution Switch is on the way. This, along with a report from Economic Daily News suggesting that a new Switch model is about to head into production for a first quarter 2021 release, should have Switch fans everywhere excited for what else the Switch has to offer going forward. To stay up to date on all the latest Nintendo Switch news, keep it locked to IGN.